Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, September 7th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My cat is still eating, having a good breakfast this morning. And I have with me this beautiful painting by Dee Beggarly. Just be. Flowers are such a beautiful and remarkable thing. And I love that we put live flowers on our altar each week. People do that as an act of love in memory of a loved one who's died or in celebration. Flowers are pure gifts from God to us. We continue in the Gospel of John. Jesus has gone away from Jerusalem because they were trying to kill him. <laughs> but then he gets word that his good friend Lazarus is ill. Jesus had one place that was close to being a home for him. Mary, Martha, and Lazarus were sisters and a brother that lived in Bethany, which is just outside of Jerusalem, just a, a mile or so. I walked from Jerusalem to Bethany. It's not far, just down the mountain. So Jesus gets word that Lazarus is very sick. And everyone says, you've got to come quickly so you can heal him. But Jesus says, no, I need to wait so that the glory of God may be revealed. So he waits for two whole days. And then he finally gets up and begins to go towards Jerusalem. And his disciples say, why are we doing this? You were almost killed there. And Jesus says, because you need my light. Meanwhile, Lazarus has died. And so when Jesus gets there, he encounters pain. And the rest of the story we'll read tomorrow. But the question for today is, why did he wait? Why did he wait when he knew at some level that it would hurt? It would hurt Mary and Martha to lose their brother. And yet, he was told by God to let the death occur so that he might perform his greatest miracle. Again, we see this theme of suffering being an opportunity for God's glory to be revealed. Jesus did not want to hurt his friends. He loved them. And yet he waited so that a greater thing could happen. Yes, he could have healed Lazarus, before Lazarus died, but instead he waits for Lazarus to die so that Lazarus can be raised from the dead. The suffering that this family endures um, only enables God to do a greater thing. So whatever pain you go through, think of it as a greater opportunity for God to do something with you, something even bigger, something even more miraculous and redemptive because someone you love died or because you suffered in some way. Every time we are in pain, it is an opportunity for the glory of God to be revealed. And the greater the suffering, the greater the revelation. So Jesus lets pain happen so that a great miracle can occur. It's as if the pain is a canvas on which God can paint glory. And everything we go through is that same canvas if we will allow God to paint a resurrection out of it. Let us pray. Almighty God, it is so hard to understand why we suffer. And we know that God doesn't make sickness or pain or suffering, but we know that in these instances, God's glory can be revealed if we would allow that to happen. Help us to ponder how we can turn our pain into resurrection life. 
give us wisdom and patience to understand this essential piece of the Christian walk. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, and those who care for them, to bless the dying, the homeless, the incarcerated, those who are in pain, lonely, addicted, struggling with mental illness. Bring us wisdom and help us to care for them as you would care for them. Bring peace to this world, Lord Christ, and bring peace to our souls so that we may walk this earth as your servants. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.